Hi friends, Miss Cassie here with Solon Public Library's Digital Storytime. This month we're talking all about the season of fall, and this week we are going to talk about harvest time, when we gather up all of the food that we've been growing, that we planted in the spring, that's been growing all summer, and we gather it up to eat and to store to enjoy over the winter. But first, we need to sing our welcome song and we need to get our clapping hands ready. So we're going to wiggle our fingers and shake our hands and rub them together really fast, really fast, really fast and put them on our knees. Okay, here we go. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read book have a seat and take a look if you want to read a book clap your hands all right what do we do after we clap our hands that's right we stomp our feet if you want to read a book stomp your feet if you want to read a book stomp your feet if you want to read a book have a seat and take a look if you want to read Stomp your feet. What do we do after we stomp our feet? That's right, we twirl around. If you want to read a book, twirl around. If you want to read a book, twirl around. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, twirl around. All right, for our last verse, we're gonna be as quiet as we can, and we're gonna whisper, hooray. If you wanna read a book, whisper, hooray, hooray. If you wanna read a book, whisper, hooray, hooray. If you wanna read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you wanna read a book, whisper, hooray, Our theme song this month is Fall is Here, sung to the tune of I'm a Nut. And we have some action, so our leaves are gonna fall to the ground. They're gonna twirl from the trees. And harvest time is coming around. We're marching around picking our fruits and vegetables. Then the animals get settled back. We're gonna lean back for a nice long winter's nap. We make a little pillow with our hands. And then fall is here, crunch, crunch, we're gonna stomp on the leaves, crunch, crunch. Fall is here, munch, munch, we're gonna eat all that yummy food. Fall is here, fall is here, fall is here, crunch, munch. <laughs> all right, here we go. Leaves are falling to the ground, harvest time is coming round. Animals get settled back, for a nice long winter's nap. Fall is here, crunch, crunch, fall is here, munch, munch, fall is here, fall is here, fall is here, crunch, munch. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Our first book today is called Stregonona's Harvest, and this is written and illustrated by Tommy DePaula. Now, there are some words in this book that are in Italian. Now, I don't speak Italian, so I'm going to do my best to read these words um, with a good accent. We'll see. <laughs> um, but they, you can tell from the context what the words are, and sometimes it even translates it in the, in the sentence itself. So you shouldn't have any trouble understanding this story. Plus, it's fun to learn some new words in other languages, right? It was spring, and all the snow had melted. The rich earth was beginning to warm. Stregonona pulled out a small wooden box that had been hidden away in the dark cupboard all winter. What do you think is in the small box? Let's find out. Aha, she said, as she took out small packets of seeds she had saved from last year's garden. Oh, that's what was in the box was her seeds for her garden. <laughs> Que siete amici amici piccolo, or pico, piccoli, she said. Here you are, my little friends. Why were all those seeds in the dark, Stregonona? Big Anthony asked. 
Well, mi caro, my dear, Streganona answered, they had to rest just like you do, so they will be able to do their job when we plant them in the garden. So just like some animals hibernate during the winter, right? They settle down for a nice long nap. Uh, seeds have to rest during the winter too so that they can be ready to grow in the spring. When will we plant them? Streganona, Bambolona asked. When la luna, the moon, tells us, Bambolona, then we will plant each kind of seed carefully in the right place. After all, we can't just throw the seeds on the ground in a big pile. A garden must be orderly, so it is easy to pick the vegetables. That sounds reasonable, don't you think? Now, let me check my Libro di Giardino, the garden book, to see what we did last year. Because every year, Strega Nona wrote down in her book what she planted, when, and where. And she never put the same vegetables in the same spot. We have to move them around, she told her young helpers, so the soil will stay happy and strong. But first, Anthony, you must spread the compost and manure we saved all winter and rake it into the soil so our vegetables will grow as big and beautiful as can be. So, big Anthony put a clothespin on his nose and did his job because manure is stinky. Children, come, called Strega Nona. It is almost the end of Maggio, May, and there will be a full moon tonight. It is time to plant. Now, Anthony, I want you to make nice straight rows in the soil with the end of the hoe, and that is where the seeds will go. Big Anthony, Bambolona scolded. You are not making the rows straight enough. You know that Streganona likes everything perfect. And she added, and so do I. Pamelona is so bossy, Big Anthony thought. Someday I'll show her I can do something perfect too. So look, here they are. They have labeled all of the seeds. The soil is ready and they are planting the seeds, labeling where they are and watering them, getting the garden all ready. And that night when the full moon rose in the sky, Streganona quietly crept out to the garden. She looked up at the moon and sang, Oh, bella luna, smile on me, and on the seeds I sow, and let the moonbeam shine from thee to make my garden grow. And now, for the ingrediente segreto, secret ingredient, Streganona blew three kisses to the moon. Oh, said Big Anthony as he watched her. Suddenly, he spied some seeds that had dropped on the ground. I know, I'll plant my own perfect garden behind the goat shed, and I will show Bambolona. So Big Anthony poked some holes in the ground, and he threw the seeds in, and he covered them with compost and manure, and he watered and watered. Then he sang Streganona's song. Oh, Bella Luna, smile on me and on the seeds I sow. And let the moonbeams shine from thee to make my garden really grow. And he blew three kisses to the moon. And just to be sure, he blew three more. That's a lot of kisses. And as it did every year, Strega Nona's garden grew beautifully. So look, you can see her garden is there with the nice straight rows. And then Anthony's is in the, behind the small shed next to it, surrounded by those green bushes. And his garden is starting to grow too, but it's not quite as organized. Soon, bright green insalata salad was on the table and fresh peas were added to the pasta from Streganona's pasta pot. 
Oh, peas and spaghetti is very yummy. And green beans were cooked in olive oil and other vegetables were growing beautifully too. Oh, this book is making me hungry. <laughs> Big Anthony's secret garden was growing as well, but not quite so beautifully. It looked like a jungle. Yeah, I can't tell what all of those plants are. I see a couple pumpkins maybe, but I don't know what else he's got growing in there, do you? Mamma mia, Big Anthony thought. I can't let Bambolona or Straganona see this mess. Oh, he wanted to plant a perfect garden, but it's not quite perfect, huh? And so the gardens continue to grow. And now it was time to harvest the vegetables that Straganona would keep over the winter. So look, they're working together. There are pumpkins and tomatoes and squash and all kinds of yummy vegetables. And it wasn't long before the root cellar and the rafters in the kitchen were full. Molto bene, very good, said Straganona to Bambolona and Big Anthony. A job well done. We deserve a good rest. But Big Anthony didn't have time to rest. He had other work to do. What does he need to do? That's right, he needs to harvest the vegetables from his secret garden, right? I've got to pick all my vegetables. What will I do with them? He asked. And the next morning when Strega Nona opened her door, she found a big pile of vegetables. Santo Cielo, good heavens, Strega Nona said. Where did these come from? Where did all those vegetables come from? That's right, Big Anthony's garden, right? He wasn't sure what to do with them, and he thought, Strega Nona will know, and he gave them to her, but secretly. She called Big Anthony and Bambolona. My children, please carry all these vegetables into the kitchen. Grazie. Thank you. Every morning, there were more vegetables outside the door, and soon there was hardly any room to move in the kitchen. Maybe these are from the villagers, Straganona thought. Perhaps they had too good of a harvest. Well, I must find out, and soon. If this goes on, I won't have any room to sleep in my little bed at night. So the next morning, Straganona packed a basket of vegetables. I'll take these to the sisters at the convent, and maybe they'll know something. Oh, grazie, Strega Nona, the mother superior said. You must have heard our prayers. Our garden didn't do well this season. In fact, no one's garden in the village did. We had too much rain down here while you had lots of sun on your hill. So, Strega Nona and Big Anthony's gardens are the only ones that produced a lot of vegetables and everyone else didn't have as many as they wanted. Hmm, what do you think they're gonna do? Well, Straganona went right to the mayor. See, si. yes, Straganona, Senor Mayor said. The harvest was poor this year. Well, I have more than enough to share, Straganona said. I will have a harvest feast tomorrow evening at sundown. Tell everyone to come and Straganona practically ran up to her little house. Bambolona, Big Anthony, come quickly, Straganona said. We have much work to do. I am going to have a harvest feast for all our friends and neighbors, and we shall share our bounty. Oh, what a lovely idea, right? And so look, everyone comes, and there's delicious food for them to eat at the feast, and then also delicious food for them to take home to eat later. What a generous lady Straganona is. Eviva, Eviva, hurrah, hurrah for Straganona, everyone shouted. Arrivederci, buena notte, goodbye. Good night, Straganona and her two helpers called out. So it sounds like it was a successful event, right? They shared a lot of their extra food with their friends who needed it. What a wonderful thing. 
Well, Strega Nona looked around her empty kitchen. Well, that took care of that, she said with a smile. But I still wonder where all those vegetables came from. And she climbed into bed. But later that night, what's happening? That's right. Not to worry, Strega Nona. Big Anthony is bringing more vegetables to your door. <laughs> The end. <laughs> All right, just like Strega Nona and her helpers planted their gardens, watched them grow, harvested the food, and then had a big feast, we are going to sing our song, The Farmer Plants the Seeds. So we're going to plant our seeds in our garden. Can you plant your seeds? Good job. Then the sun is going to come out to shine on our plants and the rain will fall down. And then the seeds are going to start to grow <laughs> and the vegetables will arrive. The vegetables are here. Then the farmer will dig them up, right? Those like carrots and potatoes and things. We dig them up and then it's time to eat. Are you ready? Can you remember all those things? That's a lot of steps. I think you can do it. Here we go. The farmer plants the seeds. The farmer plants the seeds. Hi ho the dairy ho. The farmer plants the seeds. The sun comes out to shine. The sun comes out to shine. Hi ho the dairy ho. The sun comes out to shine. The rain begins to fall. The rain begins to fall. Hi ho the dairy ho. The rain begins to fall. The seeds begin to grow. The seeds begin to grow. Hi ho the dairy ho. The seeds begin to grow. The vegetables are here. The vegetables are here. Hi ho the dairy ho. The vegetables are here. The farmer digs them up. The farmer digs them up. Hi ho the dairy ho. The farmer digs them up. Now it's time to eat. <laughs> now it's time to eat. Hi ho the dairy ho. Now it's time to eat. Yay! All right, friends. So one of the foods that get harvested in the fall are apples. That's right. Now, apples don't get grown in gardens in the in the ground. They grow on trees in orchards. And maybe you even have an apple tree in your yard or another fruit tree in your yard um, where you can see apples grow. Or you can go over to Wilson's Apple Orchard, right? That's close to where we live. And you can pick apples or uh, eat delicious apples from there. So I have a bunch of apples here on my board and they're all mixed up. I have two that are exactly the same and we wanna to try to find their matches. Can you help me organize my apples? Thank you. So let's see, let's start with this apple right here. What color is this apple? That's right, it is red, and it has a little green leaf poking out of its stem. So let's see if we can find a match for this red apple. Do these apples match? Are they the same? No, they're not the same. This apple is green, but they both have a little leaf and a little stem that point the same way but not quite a match. Let's see, what about this apple? Do these apples match? Almost, they both have a, a little stem with a leaf, but they're pointing different directions. And this apple is red, but it also has been eaten. This is just the apple core. So not quite a match. But what about this apple? Do these apples match? Yes, they do. Both of these apples are red, 
have a little leaf and a little stem poking out from them. These two apples are the same. So we're gonna put them together right here. So let's see, what about this apple? What color is this apple? That's right, it's red as well, but it is a dark red. Do you see how it is a darker color than this red apple? Yeah. So we're looking for another dark red apple. So let's see. Are these apples the same? No, they are not the same. This apple is green and this apple is dark red. So not a match. What about this apple? Are these apples the same? Yes, they are the same. They are both dark red with a short stem and a leaf that points the same direction. Good job, we'll put that pair over here. Let's see, what about this apple? We are looking for, this is called the apple core. It's just the middle part of the apple. So we're looking for another apple core with red uh, apple skin and a little leaf and a little stem. Let's see, is this a match? Are these the same? Nope. This apple is green and full but it has a little leaf pointing the opposite direction and a stem that points the opposite direction too. So that's not a match. What about this apple? Is this a match? Are they the same? That's right, they are. We have two apple cores with red apple skin and little leaves and little stems. Those match and they even have one, two, three little seeds. One, two, three. Those go together. Now let's see, we just have two apples left. Should we check and make sure they're the same? What do you think? Are they both the same color? They are, what color are they? That's right, they're green. Do they both have a leaf? They do. Is the leaf pointed the same direction? That's right, it is. These apples are a match. Thank you for helping me organize my apple harvest, friends. <laughs> Our last book today is called Apples in Fall. And this book is written by Mari Shu. And we read a book by her last week too. She writes a lot of good kids, nonfiction books. Nonfiction means facts. So lots of books about how the world works. Let's find out about apples in fall. Today is a fall day. Let's go to the orchard. What's an orchard again? Do you remember? Yeah, we talked about how apples grow in orchards, not in gardens. And an orchard is where there are lots of different kinds of fruit trees. In this case, apple trees. The trees at the orchard are full of apples. The apples grew all summer and they are ripe in the fall. Oh, do you see some of those big juicy red apples on those branches? Oh. They look yummy. Workers at the orchard make apple cider. First, they mash up the apples, and then a big press, you can see here in the picture, presses down and cider comes out. Yum, Ooh, that looks good. Dad tastes many apples. He likes gala apples best. They are sweet. And look, here's a picture. They're the reddish yellow ones. Those are his favorite. Mom buys Granny Smith apples. They are big and what color are these apples? That's right, green. She buys two bags. 
At home, Pam cooks her apples and she makes 10, five and five is 10, 10 jars of applesauce. Oh, raise your hand if you have ever had homemade applesauce. I have, I've even made homemade applesauce before. It is so yummy. Sue peels and cuts her apples. She adds sugar and flour and butter. What will it be? What do you think she's making? Sliced up apples, sugar, flour, and butter. Hmm. That's right, it's an apple pie. Yum. Joe melts caramel and he rolls his apples in it because caramel apples are his favorite treat. Oh, those are yummy too. I think they're kind of hard to eat though. The apple is so big for your mouth. Sometimes people will slice up apples and dip them in caramel sauce and eat it that way. That's pretty yummy too. <gasps> Crunch. <laughs> How do you eat your apples? Look, this friend is just eating them straight off the tree. And I think that that is maybe the most delicious way to eat an apple. And then look, here at the end of the book, there are pictures of the different parts of an apple. So there is the flesh. That's the inside part of the apple, the white part. There are the seeds, which are the part of the apple that can grow more apple trees. The core, that's the center of the apple that holds the seeds. That's usually what's left after you have eaten a whole apple. There's a stem, right? We looked at the stems with our matching apples. And that's the part of the apple that connects it to the tree. That's how it gets all the nutrients it needs to grow. And then of course, there's the skin of the apple and that contains a lot of vitamins for you when you eat it and it helps protect the apple as it's growing. Pretty cool. Did you learn something new? Maybe a new way to eat apples <laughs> or a new fact about how apples grow and what they look like? Yeah. Apples are a fun part of fall and are a part of our fall harvest. All right, friends, that is the end of our story time this week, all about the harvest. And now it's time to sing our goodbye song. We read a book and we played a game and we sang a song together. We read a book and we played a game. We had a fun adventure. Now go read a book and go play a game and sing a little tune. Go read a book and go play a game. We'll see Bye.